come on, where is he? Where is he? He's supposed to be here. Brett gave him a ring. He said he'd be here. Vernon! Oh. <laughs> I'm already on the train. Hiya, Jim. Oh, hello. <laughs> Do you mind if I join you? No, oh, please be my guest. I was just gazing out wistfully over West Yorkshire. <laughs> Do you know what? My favourite form of transport is a train, because you can just look out the window. And, uh, and isn't it fantastic looking at all this, these big old Yorkshire bricks? <laughs> the train we're on, it's actually perfect that we're on it, because we started off in Manchester and we're going to end up in Edinburgh. Yeah. And Edinburgh Festival is obviously synonymous with comedy. Uh, and you are one of the most iconic British comedians of the past 40 years. Thank you, here's your money. Yeah, yeah thank you very much, Jim. <laughs> uh, every time I see you, I get these wonderful, lovely flashbacks of when we first discovered, me and my mates, uh, Vic Reeves' Big Night Out, because it's probably one of the most quotable comedy shows that's ever been on telly. Yeah. And you, you know what it was like, you yeah. looking handsome as ever, and then Bob coming in and doing all kinds of weird stuff. Everything was just running wild, and it was brilliant. Well, and I was, was always jealous of, what, of Bob's part, because we used to write in that, I was like, oh, I'm really, I wish I could just do what you do. Because I just was like doing Vic Reeves, having to control everything. Which is kind of why we left and that, and went and did the smell of Reeves and Mortimer, so we could both have a crack at doing stuff <laughs> like that. You had more fun things to do, like you could go and like nail a bit of bacon on the door behind me. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I go, what are you doing? Let me ask you this, uh, when artists get together, because I know you're really creative, you, you, you know, you love your music, you've been in several bands, uh, outstanding comedian and, and your back catalogue speaks for itself, but not, people don't necessarily know you as the artist, the established artist that you well, are. Well, I think they do now. They do I, know, you know, That's yeah. what I always was. I was at art school and then I ended up doing Vic Reeves as a kind of performance piece yeah. on the stage for me mates and it took off from there. But the art, has, I've never stopped doing it. Well, it's funny you should mention that because in 2007 I hosted Vernon Kay's Game Show Marathon. Yeah. Right, and we did Blankety Blank together. Right. And you drew me. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> you did. <laughs> <laughs> I took a long time over that, didn't I? Yeah. I know that's your stick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But you didn't sign it. Oh, sure, I'll sign can, it. Can, can yeah. I ask you to sign it? I'll sign it. That's Darlington. That's where I grew up when I was a teenager. From the age of five to 19, I lived it. So my formative years were spent in these fields messing about. So hang on, so from five to 19, you were brought up around here in Darlington. Looking back at your career and everything that you've done, does, has it still got an influence in, in your creativity in Darlington? Wh wherever you grow up, you know, in your teen years, you're informed by it. I grew up, where I grew up, there was the old railway that said, that went from Darlington to Stockton, the first railway ever. And when I was about 12, I was down there whipping some um, nettles down with a stick. <laughs> you know, like, you must have done that. Absolutely. And then behind, I discovered a stone that said, Darlington that way, Stockton that way, from the very first railway in the world. Now that's, that's amazing, something, isn't it? it? So I went and told me dad, and he then went to work, because he worked at the Northern Echo here in Darlington on the newspaper, and he, so he went and told one of his mates, and then his mate then went and took photographs of himself, stood next to it, and then put himself in the paper. Oh, saying, stole your limelight. Absolutely. So from that moment on, I thought, I'm gonna be big and famous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have my picture in the paper. We're going to end up in Edinburgh, Jim, and yeah. I believe your granddad was born there, right? He was born in Princes Street, so he reckons. I was up the um, Scott Memorial when I was about 10, he said, and there was a, a department store called Jenner's, and he said, you see that window there? He said, I was born in there. But he was prone to porkies, you know, <laughs> so um, that's maybe true. <laughs> I'm sticking with it, but he was born, yeah. He was born in Edinburgh, definitely. So I've got a big Scottish heritage, because my name's Moya, which is very Scottish. Um, members of the Gordon clan. Nice. I've got a kilt made in with my tartan. i a suit made as well. Right. But I rarely parade around the parish in it. 
Do you Are like you? Edinburgh? I love Edinburgh. It's great, isn't it? Yeah, I love Edinburgh. What other city has got a mountain in the middle of it? <laughs> isn't it weird? <laughs> a volcano. Yeah. It's, it's a magnificent city. Very good food as well. I remember going to uh, do a book signing once in Edinburgh and the top brass wanted to come up. It was like the last day they wanted to come and see me and take me out for a big slap up dinner. But I had my heart set on getting haggis and chips out of a chip shop. <laughs> so they all turned up. Guns, like, you know, all ready to go out for a nice big slap up dinner. And I said, Do you mind if we go and have haggis and chips? <laughs> so we sat on a bench with a bag with haggis and then chips. I was going, This is fantastic. This is the real stuff, isn't it? They weren't expecting that. No, they, had the, they had the expenses card ready to go and I you know, took them yeah. to the chippy. Yeah. <laughs> they had a cheap, cheap night out. Yeah. Oh, look at that, that's cool. Oh, it's oh, brilliant, nice. isn't it? That's yeah. the wildlife and nature right outside. That's what's great. That's what I love about being on a train. I could sit and look at that all day long. Yeah, And definitely. I quite often do. This train journey has allowed you to kind of have a good reminisce, hasn't it? A good thing yeah. back. No, it's nice to reminisce, but do you know what I like about train journeys? And this is a good example. You can see into people's houses. <laughs> and I'm a, such a nosy parker, I love it. <laughs> But also, it raises the human spirit, I think. So, you know, when you're going, it's the, when the light is dimming at dusk, when it's crepuscular, <laughs> you know, you look through and you see people making the tea and you feel really like warm hearted, don't you think, oh, and that nice, look, what are you having for your tea? And I'll have a, a good glance through the window <laughs> and see if I can spot it. What's that, you having chops? <laughs> right, well, here we are in Edinburgh, come on. No, 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 I, I'm going to stay on. What? You're not coming with me? No, no. I like trains. I'll just go back. Are you? Yeah. You do like the trains, don't you? Yeah. I'll send you Agus in the post. All right, thanks, Jim. <laughs> <laughs>